It's called the reduction of the ridiculous because when you narrow it down to a number that's so small that it's consumable, it's believable, they go, oh, yeah, that makes sense. It's only $27 a day. A sign that more people are prioritizing basic needs over wants. Half of shoppers compared items and prices across different online platforms before buying, and more of them used buy now and pay later options. There is a reason to think that people held off on a planned purchase, waiting for the sales event before buying rather than spontaneously splurging. Now, what does that mean? It means that you're gonna see less one call closes because a one call close is a splurge. A multiple sequence sale is going to be them justifying the investment. So you guys may need to adjust how you're presenting your packages. Instead of a lump sum $10,000 ultimate, we break it down to the reduction of the ridiculous. Now, does how many of you guys know what the reduction of the ridiculous close is? Okay, so, ooh, I'm gonna give it to you real quick. If we take $10,000 and divide it by 12 months, what's the number? You're gonna need a calculator. Take it then, $10,000 investment and divide it by 12. What do you got? 833, now take that number and divide it by 30. 27 what? 27? 2777, okay. A $10,000 package or a $10,000 investment is only $27 a day. Divide that by 24. What is it? 1.15. So a $10,000 investment into your financial future is only $1.15 an hour. Divide that by 60. Oh, and then, what you said? Two cents. Your $10,000 investment is only costing you two cents a second. Are you telling me two cents a second isn't worth changing your financial trajectory for you and your family? Really? Two cents? That's what we're talking about here? Now, it's called the reduction of the ridiculous because when you narrow it down to a number that's so small that it's consumable, it's believable, they go, oh, yeah, that makes sense. It's only $27 a day. Now, we can help them find $27 a day, can't we? Yeah, let's go through their, their, their expenses. Did we get coffee this morning? Did we go out to lunch? Did we go across the street and get a bagel? People are spending $27 a day on things they don't really need. So if we can help them offset cigarettes, good one, yeah. Hey, how about you quit smoking and you can get rich? That's genius. Help them find the funds to make the investment. In this market, it's no longer pick up phone, make call, splurge, here's my credit card, let's go. You guys have got to be more methodical, more thoughtful about how they make the investment and how they get involved. These trends suggest consumers are doing okay, but are more value conscious than they were six months or a year ago. People still have some extra savings built up during the pandemic. However, consumers are thinking harder about their spending, looking for deals and, whether, and weighing whether they really need a given item. So again, Marketing, messaging needs to be around need, not want. Sales needs to be around need, not want. We gotta, we gotta really drill down on this. <laughs>